Nina Muscle Mountain, he's been freshened up since those wins in January and February. So what's he been up to? Uh, we've just kept him ticking along at home. Yeah, he had a bit of a quiet time um, after his last race, you know, just a quiet week or so, but he's been ticking along nicely. Yeah. He goes well in a fresh state. So when he turns up at the racetrack, it's not like white line fever with him, but he loves racing, doesn't he? He really enjoys the, the, the battle out there. He does. He's he's very competitive and he yeah, he does tend to give it his all each each time. Yeah. He is the last horse to beat Sunday Sun in a group one race, and that was in the Fred Shaw Trotting Championship in the last couple of years. That's his obvious target this time and before he goes north. Have I got that right? Yeah, uh there's a there's a race on the first of April leading into it a group three. Uh he may line up in that and then the um the group one the week after yeah we'll probably we'll probably i see there's a mile program for next week but i think we'll probably give that a miss otherwise it'll be yeah four weeks in a row which could be a bit much for him yeah well his arch rival sunday sun's thinking of doing exactly the same thing uh when i said earlier in the week their head-to-head battles muscle mountains in front that surprised a few people but it's three two in the clashes so far so yeah what are the chances of him enhancing that record this week? Um, oh, that, it'll be tough. Like, he's, he's not screwed right down to sort of run his, his best race tonight, but, I mean, on Friday night. But, well, you never know with him. He's 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 so competitive and he's such a natural, um, yeah, he keeps himself pretty fit. But, I mean, Sunday, Sun, like, he's a champion. And it depends how screwed down, I suppose, John. He's, he's probably in a similar boat to us. But, um, and there's some. Nice um, Metaderos and um, even Craig and Amy's um, Five Wise Men. Like it, it's such a yeah, such an you know awesome wee field. Yeah. But, well, you've um, had a champion. Like it was, you, yeah. you've had more. What's that? Oh. You've had a champion, so you, so you know well, what it's like. Him. Him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you still got him. But as in a <laughs> racing proposition, you, you've had a champion, yeah. so you know what that's like. Um, and being, I'm not saying you're trotting purist, but. It's the it's the gate that's dominated so much of you and Greg's last ten years, if you like. How cool is it at the moment to have horses like Sunday Sun, your own Bolt for Brilliance, Cracker Hill when he was going? It, it, it's a magnificent time. Matadiros is not far off them, you know. It's 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 a really great time for the Square Gators, isn't it? Oh, it's it's incredible how the how the breed and how how far they've come. Like it's um. It's just a shame that the stakes sort of aren't rising up to match that of the paces because I think at the moment when all those trotters line up together, I think people, well, I know for myself, but I know a lot of other people told me they're more interested in watching the big trot than the big pace at the moment. So, um, yeah, they're just they're just incredible horses. And, you know, what Sonny's done to... Um, yeah, he's, he's incredible, yeah. Yep, well, regardless of what he does on Friday night, he joins that Millionaires Club, of course. You have another yeah. rival for him, though, and little wee Midnight Dash, who just never goes a bad race. He does, and he's he's such a little sweetheart, and he's one that does tend to sort of need a race, and then he's always sort of better second up, but he's uh, it is hard for him. Like, he's in um, Muscle Mountain Shadow all the time, and he's it sort of probably takes away a bit of how, how good he is, but... He's such a um, genuine wee horse, and um, one day he'll he'll you know he'll get a big one. We're hoping so, um, but he's he's training along good. Like the two of them, they're always together. They're paddock together, um, train together. Like um, yeah, they're best of mates. So it's quite kind of cool when you see them out there racing together. All right, mum head on or training head on. What's the build up to a race like? Uh, between Ben and and you and Greg, does he does he does he express himself much, Ben, or is he is he does he as he gets closer to the races, does he sort of become a little bit introverted? How does that all play out? I'm really interested. Oh, it's oh, it's pretty tough at times, you know, because we all work together, live together, and the pressures of racing. Um, you know, it, it's hard. Like I'm, yeah, thinking about Friday night with with the three, you know, AG's White Sox as well. And um, yeah, it's it's high pressure. But Ben seems to cope with it pretty well leading up to. Um, but yeah, he's pretty tough on himself if he pulls the wrong rein. So, um, but now he's he's always got a cool head 
going into it, but he's yeah, he'll beat himself up if he um pulls the wrong rein afterwards, which is hard as a mum. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of how, how, how do the race tactics go, Nina? Who who, who um, puts those in, into place? Or or is, is he getting to that stage now with his experience? He's close to 150 wins. Yeah. Um he knows the form. I mean, he's known the form since he was a toddler. Oh, I know. Yeah, no, he's he knows the form better than anyone. He's he's amazing how he can. Yeah, he will tell you every horse out in the race what it did last start, whether it went out of the gate. He's in every race he goes into. He's he's incredible. But as far as driving tactics, he Greg does not give him any any instructions leading into the big races. He gives him probably too many leading into. Um, just your average races, <laughs> but um, no, when it when it's um, yeah, no, Ben makes the calls in those big ones because yeah, he knows the horse so well, and um, yeah, he's yeah, Greg pretty much leaves it to Ben the big ones, yeah. All right, you mentioned AG's White Sox, nice to have him back. Seems like an age ago as a four year old, he won two group ones. I know you guys have been to I'm well, not Helen back, but it's been a real challenge to to keep trying to pick up the pieces with him. Where's he at this time in? Well, I'm, yeah, pretty happy. Well, we're really happy with him, actually. His his leg's looking really good. He's um, he's in a really good space mentally. Um, but he's only had the one workout. And ideally, it would be neat to get another run at the workouts but coming into this race. But it's a mobile, and we've just decided we're not even going to bother with the stands this year. Um, it does, he's, yeah, he's just, he's always that 50-50 chance and more than likely he, he hasn't been going away and it takes a huge toll out of them when they miss away when they're such good horses because, you know, they try so hard afterwards and it's really the undoing of them. But um, he'll probably have a couple of starts here, like there's mobile this week, but I think it stands the next two weeks so he yeah. won't be seen for a couple of weeks. And fingers crossed all going well. He'll probably head across um, maybe to Menangle and that all going well with the horse because um, that's really where it's, it's best suited for him really but he's um, yeah no he's in he's in good shape but he'll definitely benefit from the run yeah definitely yeah Ben only drives them for the second time on race night I think yeah he's only driven them the once I think um, was it the I Easter Cup like I think he Easter missed Cup. away yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah he was he sort of went away then he had a gallop and yeah that's the only other drive he's had on him yeah he's had I think he's had a couple of workout drives on him but, but um Greg pretty much does everything with AG yeah yeah all right be cool to see him back at the racetrack let's hope he can bring his best form mm. uh here in New Zealand because we know how good he's been hey just on a couple of the other runners you've got you've got two in race four uh Loyalist and Luella yeah um Loyalist has been training out of his skin yeah like really really well so um we're hoping hoping for him to probably be the better of the two but Luella she's she's a hard one she's a mare and she's a she's a funny wee thing at times um she's got a little streak in her but she tends to show up at the times you don't think she's going to but um yeah she always gives a good honest good honest race and um yeah like the rest of the team's been been going pretty consistent and pretty well lately so we're hoping, you know, she'll go another good race, yeah. But loyalists yeah, spoke, preferred over the two, yeah. Yeah, I spoke to Greg on SDNZ on Sunday and he said that because of the new season where it started, you guys generally about this time of year over Christmas and that seemed to get the majority of your winners. So I think you're well past 20, might even be 22 or 23 already this season. So, um, yeah. yeah, I reckon he's underestimating your ability somewhat, but maybe it is about timing too. Yeah, I don't know where I came up with that one, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Let's just say the team's going well, Nina. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're, we're, like, we're all putting 110% in at the moment, and, um, yeah, it's it's tough, but we're, yeah, yeah we're flat out, but we're, um, yeah, we're all, all in there, boots and all at the moment, and just trying to do the best by every horse. We're, um, yeah, they're all getting massaged, and, yeah, all, all the little um, dotting the I's and crossing the T's and, yeah, just hoping for a good season. Yeah, the old little extras, eh? Well, you're yeah. taking some special horses to the races on Friday night. We wish you all the very best. Of the entire team, what's the best chance? Uh, 
Um, well, uh, Dobby, um, Muscle Mountain, he's he's probably my favourite. So, so I know he's up against Sunny and that, but yeah, I'm yeah, um, probably probably go with him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my neck out. Good on you, Nina. Okay. Good luck to Team Hope. Okay, thanks a lot, Greg. Yes. Thank you.